This is such a huge honor for me to be able to uh, share this evening with my family, my children, and uh, my coach. Coaches, Jeff, hey, what's up? Um, <clears throat> first, I'd like to thank my parents. So without my parents' support, love, guidance, and uh, you know, sacrifices to you know, get me to tournaments and to drop me off at the golf course and get me the coaching that I needed, this obviously never would have been possible. And uh, I've gotten more from Northwestern than I could have ever imagined. Um, so I'm you know, very, very grateful for that. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, definitely life changing. Pat, um, my coach, um, unbelievable human being, <clears throat> taught me a lot of things. I, I obviously knew how to hit a golf ball, golf ball before I got here, but I didn't know how to always score well. Um, taught me some basic things, but obviously, you know, stood out through me. One, that there's such a thing as a good bogey. You didn't always have to go for the glory shot. Doubles are bad, bogeys are okay, you can fix it with a, <clears throat> with a birdie. Um, one of my favorite memories with Pat was in Puerto Rico where I was snap hooking every tee shot on the driving range, literally didn't want to play. Had him run over about 12 minutes before my tee time. I was like, Pat, what's going on here? And he's like, man, you're not even getting it like 100 yards in the air. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. And, was, he's, and I said to him, like, what do I need to do? How do I fix it? He goes, just play a hook. I'm like, what do you mean just play a hook? He goes, just play a big old hook all day long. And that was not the shot that I hit. And I went, ended up going out and doing that and basically, I think shooting the best round of the day and maybe losing by a shot or something when I was five or six back. Um, <clears throat> so there are so many things that I could say about Pat, but another thing that I learned from Pat and Lindy, his wife, was that just, just good people. I learned like what it's like to be a good husband a good wife. I got to watch them raise their children, who now Allison is in college, which is really hard to imagine because she was a little baby when I came to school. Um, <clears throat> so thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, Luke, Luke Donald, my teammate, friend and teammate, competitor. Um, I highly doubt I would be here right now and have accomplished what I accomplished. Um, collegiately if it wasn't for Luke being on my team and pushing me every single day. I, I, every day I worked, I worked hard anyway, but I worked even harder because I saw how good he was when he got here. And uh, you know, the first year he got here, I probably lost nine out of every 10 rounds. Um, and then it got to maybe I could beat him three out of every 10 rounds, which was good. I um, mean, he was the number one player in the world for about 56 weeks or something. Is that right? Did I get that right, Luke? All right, good. Thank you very much. Um, and Luke was also the best man at my wedding and my son's godfather. Um, so, you know, that's very, very special. My wife, um, this kind of goes back to just Northwestern is a, was a huge blessing for me and has given me so much. I met my wife at school my junior year and, uh, you know, there she is with my two children, you know, my 11 and 13 year old sons, Dylan and Stefan. Um, I'm very, very thankful for that. And that would not have happened if it hadn't been for Pat and Jeff recruiting me and uh, you know, me ending up here. <clears throat> um, I'm forgetting something, I'm so sorry. I really am thankful for Northwestern University. Everything that it has had to offer me, um, everything that's offered my friends. Uh, it's been a, it's amazing to walk around the campus today and see all the changes that are happening now from the success that programs I've had in the past, and uh, it's just fantastic. Thank you, everybody.